Well, I tend to be very outspoken. <laughs> Shall we put it that way? Is that too euphemistic? Uh, I think that where we get into danger and trouble is usually over secrets, over the things we don't talk about rather than the things that we do. Um, and so I am very apt to write about things I have. Um, for instance, that essay on infidelity. And the first time I read it was at a writer's conference at, universe, at uh, New Mexico State University. And there happened to be, at the same time as the writer's conference, an elder hostel going on. And I go into the room, which I'm figuring is a college classroom, right? There are all these old people in there. Um, there was an audience of about 60 people, some of them rather elderly. And in my possession, and the only thing in my possession, is an essay on infidelity. And the issues surrounding infidelity came up in front of this group. And I think, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> so I start the reading out by saying, some of this is kind of um, direct stuff. And if you find yourself unable to sit through and, and listen to it, that's okay. Please just leave. And she read some of her essay from Ordinary Time that discusses her response to my infidelity. Well, nobody laughed. And, of course, what it is is that we don't usually credit old people for being as savvy as old pe most old people are. But, uh, but it was an audience problem, you know. It was one of those things where I was re reading an essay that I had not written for this audience. And, and uh, it worked. Um, in fact, people ask questions at the end, and one of the first, and this often happens, is what my family, and particularly my husband, think about the kind of material that I write. Here, Grace, the, the essay I'm referring to, is about George's confessing to an infidelity of his. Um, and so somebody raised that question one of the first questions, how does your husband feel about this? I think of myself as a, as a shy sort of person. And George pops up from where he's sitting and says, well, I'm the husband in question. <laughs> and I would never have thought of divulging anything about my sexuality or, or hers or our sexuality uh, in public. And he went on and told them how he felt. It was just a wonderful moment. I was just mortified. I love having him there um, when something like that happens. Believe me, I would just as soon forget. And have him able to speak for himself. But the sense that it, that it also is, is a, a community kind of process has made it very, very valuable. And I don't mind a bit now being confronted in public with any of the issues that Nancy has raised. So I've gone from humiliation to it's okay and it's valuable. And that's been many years, of course. Because when he appears in my essays, I'm speaking from my point of view. I can't speak from his. And it's great when he's willing to represent himself.